Um, excited to be back here. This is a um, a sign that the season is about to kick off, and uh, um, I know everybody involved and and not just college football, but football are excited if about this time of the year. I got a call from my eighth grade nephew. Um, I had called him earlier in the, in the day and didn't get any kind of respond until late in the night. And uh, he told me he was so excited that he had just started football. So uh, he was at football practice that day. So everybody's excited, including you guys, I'm sure, uh, because now you guys don't have to chase stories as, as much. You still got chase stories, but now some of the stories come to you. So, um, um, and that's going to be a, um, something that all the coaches that, that come, um, be probably I'm sure the ones that came before me, it's the ones who came that will come after me, will talk about is how excited they are about this coming season. A uh, couple of reasons why we're excited is how we finished last year. Although we did not reach our goal of getting to getting our program into our sixth straight bowl game. Last year, we did reach our last goal on our 2012 list was to win our last game. Um, and that was a goal that we had um, created last year uh, because two years prior to that, we had lost uh, our, our bowl game against Clemson in the Music City Bowl and then bowl game here in Birmingham uh, against Pittsburgh. So one of our goals was to win our last game, which we reached. Um, um, in, in winning uh, versus Tennessee last year. Um, other reason we're excited is because for some reason or another, for different reasons, whether it be injuries, whether it be um, guys uh, stepping up and understanding the system, a lot of freshmen were, were uh, put in uh, position to play significant roles in our last four games. Uh, and the way um, we saw those freshmen uh, grow in those four games, and and uh, we finished up uh, two and two in those those games, and saw a lot of true true freshmen um, making plays for us on offense, on defense, and in special teams. Um, and this season, um, another reason we're excited: 26 of our uh, 44 players are freshmen and sophomores, redshirt freshmen and sophomores. Similar, and I know that might scare a lot a lot of people, but it's similar to the 2005, 2006 teams that we had um, that uh, started the streaks of the five straight bowl games. Um, uh, we have some upperclassmen also that um, that I have here with me. Got three seniors, Colin Zuku, uh, Larry Warford, and Matt Smith. Uh, and they are similar to the Andre Woodson's, the upperclassmen that we had in that group. So we're excited. Uh, about the playmakers that we have on offense, uh, our defense, and we're in our second year of the system that Coach Rick Minner brought to us. So um, we also had a couple changes on our staff, positive changes. I think they're huge changes for us. Um, for 30 years, Mike Cassidy, who was a graduate, he was a, uh, when I was a freshman at Kentucky, he was a, one of the assistant DB coaches. And for 30 years, he's been trying to get back to Kentucky. Uh, Mike's has gone out and um, has a huge resume. He's been a coordinator at eight or nine different places. And, uh, um, you know, he has a history with Coach Rick Benner, which is really was key in, in, in hiring him. Uh, not only have history, he has a history of being his coordinator at Cincinnati, but he also has a history um, uh, two years, or three years ago, of being with him at, at Marshall University under the same system. So that was that was big, especially in year two, uh, and trying to to uh, uh, continue to grow the system. Um, so Mike uh, comes uh, with a lot of uh, um, a lot of experience, a lot of experience in recruiting some of the areas that we are are interested in in, in recruiting, and then. Um, when one guy leaves, it gives us an opportunity, and we always have guys on our list ready to go um, that we feel like that we can pull from and, and, and get quality coaches. Uh, uh, when T. Martin left to go to Southern Cal, um, Pat Washington was a guy that we had on our list for a long time. I've, I've uh, been um, friends with Pat for a long time and watched him in this business, actually played against him at, while he was at Auburn. So he, not only does he have the experience in playing in this league, but he has 13 years of experience uh, in this league and coaching in this league. 
at, at three different universities. This will be his third university, and he's been at, at Auburn, played at Auburn. So he understands this league. So that was a, two positive ch uh, changes that we have in this program. Um, we had a, uh, a g another really good year in, uh, academically this spring. Um, the thing we have to do is uh, continue that this summer. Uh, but our players have been working extremely hard. All 25 of our freshmen are on campus. Um, our players have been working extremely hard in this heat to prepare for this season.